massive encounter. It is one versus two. Certainly the form team of the tournament, the My Emirates, up against the defending champions, the Golf Giants tonight. Go to bowler, of course, uh, in this uh, game, in this DP World IT20 season. Jumaman Basim, six overs so are crucial for both sides. Look at that strike rate 162 with 275 runs under his belt. Right, this will be interesting to see. Will he get some movement possibly? Dan Worrell has been in very good form with the ball of late. Let's see maybe some pace from him too. And he's entrusted with the ball. Nice, good start. Perfect start, bit of swing there as well early on from Worrell. Now leg side, five legs up. Oh, misfail. The first boundary for uh, my Emirates. Mazar Rabani was the fielder there. He does have a long way to get down. Blessing Mazarubani. Into the surface. And a nice bit of adjustment. Brings a boundary for Mohamed Wasim. What a season he's had so far. He's away. He's tried a few times to go out leg side. And Shimran Hetmeyer has punched it away over the boundary. Well, confirmed that it's just bounced before by the umpire. So four runs it is. Continue. Starts with a slow one. It's gone back onto the stumps. It's gone back onto the stumps. It just trickled there. Mohamed Wasim could have maybe reached back and knocked it away, but he decided not to. He was looking for the single and it cost him his wicket. The ball and he, all he could do is just uh, watch and hope that this will not hit the stumps. Yeah, hitting the off stump and the first wicket. Got two now, he's got two with a beautiful in-swinger. It's another inside edge, but that has swung a long way. Great signing, great signing. The length was a little short, and now he's just finding the right length. Nice and full, swung it back into Fletcher's, and Fletcher getting a little inside edge. Swings that one away into the grandstand, DP World. Biggest six of the match candidate early for Nicholas Puran. EP World donating kits, of course. The grassroots cricket. Good four there. Yeah, a couple of dot deliveries and then decided uh, it's, it's time to go. And that's a magnificent hit. He's using the pace, using the bounce. And no holding back when, Warren, when uh, Puran hits. Yeah, he has. Edge gone. He's got it away from Puran, and that is a big blow. Three for Warren. What a great bit of captaincy from Vince. Well called, Wakar Yunus. Well, that's what James uh, Vince was asking for. That's what he he brought him for that particular reason to get one more wicket here. Get me one more wicket it for his captain. Nice seam position. Nice and full. Asking uh, Koshal Pereira to just play that booming drive. He likes that shot, but because ball moved off the seam, had to... nicely played. Driven through the covers for four. Sky 247.net super four. Well, this might be DJ Bravo's uh, night. He hasn't had a very good uh, season with the back. Cracked away, leg side. Nicholas Puran knows his strengths, and that's one of them. That could definitely be a contender for the DP World biggest six of the match. Talent, Nicholas Puran, right to delivery, right in his arc, and look at that. He's a special player for me, absolutely. 87 meters, the biggest of the lot so far. Powerful. That slapped back past the bowler with aggression. Four more. He's a treat to watch. Effortless. That's gone for six. For a moment you felt it was too flat to go all the way. But this guy packs a punch, Puran. A very, very special talent. Look at that ball. He picked it up from us off stump. And flat batted that shot towards square leg for the maximum. That's his third six. 
and he's top of the ladder anyway in this DP World ILT20 as far as six is concerned. Nicholas Poran has tried that shot many times tonight, but this time around, it ends his innings. Hentmeyer takes a catch. He's very good on the boundary, is Hentmeyer. Big wicket this. This could be a huge step forward for the Giants into the final. Seeing everyone. Lovely delivery, great length, good pace on the ball. And uh, Puran wanted to go a little bit more high, a little bit more elevation. This smile, beautiful smile, deserves. Use of the feet, a crack of the bat of Bravo, who may well get his own innings going now. Yeah, that was an angry stroke. Season with the bat in hand, but look at that. That is class, that's pure. Look at that, look at the bat coming down. Great shift of the weight. Power going. He really does hit the ball hard, does Tim David. There was no chance for Worrell to stop that. Dear or oh dear. Picks it up. It's hanging yet again in the air. And gone. Cox takes the, the catch safely underneath it. And that will end the stay from Dwayne Bravo. So, I put up that, that sort of uh, total. At, at the end, just scooping one up in the air. Really hit the way he wanted. And well caught in the deep. Get leg side, but so Florida gets around. Oh no, oh dear me. It's catching. That's Worrell on this occasion. Should have been one. Ends up four. Finishes the over with a boundary. 125 for five. Bit hard, but uh, it's a bigger boundary. Hit my... Oh, he had a chance for a bike. Couldn't get there. Or got there and just spilt out of the hands for four more. Could have been a one-hander too. Intentional opening of the blade from Tim David. Just siving the ball offside. It was a pace on deliveries. Nails it again. It's gone straight. And it'll go all the way. It does for four. Mid off up inside the circle. He got it past him. He's in at the pads, in at middle of the leg. It's gone high. That's gone high and long. And he's missed his length again. Ten off the first two. So Farrell from Karen Pollard, as we've often seen throughout the course of his long career. Plenty of muscle, only a tug to leg side. Minutes. Uh, fairly dominant, is it? No, it's straight to Hitmeyer. Didn't get enough of it. Took pace off Muzidambani. Picks up Tim David, and the new man will be on strike, which is always a bonus when Pollard's at the other end. He's off the ball, just inviting Tim David to put a little more muscle. Clear the fence, no dives from Shimon Hitmeyer. Straight into his lap. It's the Yorker right this time, and Pollard hammers it to long on. Should come back and try for two. Zerumbani gets his hands around the ball that time and takes the bails off. 20 overs completed. Giants sent my Emirates into bat. And they will have to score 164. 164 is the target. Less than that has been defended successfully at this ground. And actually by the golf giants a couple of times. With the brand new ball, keeping things tight. Uh, the, the record is fantastic. Two seamers, and that doesn't mean that they haven't done the job, but Hulusain adds an X Factor. And this man adds an X Factor to the Golf Giants. Position to go straight to the final. Jordan Cox has got a career in front of him. Ah! Ah! Straight away, Hulusain strikes! That little bit of X Factor may be slightly missing in the last few games with a new ball in his back. Left a gap so wide. Goodness me, disappointment for 
Trying to make something happen is Lin. And after three dot balls, he picks up a Sky 247.net Super 4. Well, Chris Lin has said, I've had enough of that. I'm going to just clear the boundary rope. And yet another kit donated to grassroots cricket here in the UAE, thanks to DP World. It's 13 for one. Far away from the cycle and the target. Which is both, they're both over in that corner. You double the kits. If you do hit the... There's an extra six. If you hit the target. Well, we talk about making an impression on a big game. And that is making an impression early. Four balls into your spell. Oh, that's an absolute beauty. It's the one that goes away from the right-hander, but Jordan Cox is in no man's land at all. It is a terrific delivery. Pitched a roundabout. Oh, outside leg stump probably and hit the top of off. Seam angle was suggesting it was the one he's trying to go across the right. It looks dangerous. Is it going to catch it? Yes, he does. One more wicket. Oh! the spin proves your point spin of course uh, the way to go on this surface Bounce, extra turn and a leading edge gleefully accepted Absolutely superb it's gonna go for four bad ball bad ball from Rohit the ball of Yorker but he missed the length completely it's him for a Ah, oh, he's gonna go for six for sure. Good shot, shot of the length ball. Well collected by Smith has gone for four. A lean fast bowler, pitching in shock. And well collected by Smith. Yeah, I think this fast bowler needs to have a good set of gears when it comes to the legs. Gotcha. I don't think he's hit that very well at all. It's straight to the man at long on. Tim David. And uh, Vyaskant has now got one as well. So spinners are dominating here for my Emirates. Let's have a look. Again, the turn did the trick. It didn't middle it. The idea was to go towards mid-wicket. Went straight to the fielder at mid-off. An easy catch for the big man, Tim David. At, uh... The freedom of knowing. There's yes, another sir. chance, and maybe that helps Hetmeyer, because straight away he's gone. Straight away he's gone leg side for six. Ends the over, 52 for four. Nicked and gone. Bravo with the wicket, goes short at Hetmeyer. Picks up the wicket, and further trouble for the Giants. What a delivery from one of the most experienced players in for length, going away. And getting the extra bounce, fade edge, straight to the keeper. And the plan worked, according to the skipper. He's got the wicket. He gets one away, squirts it off the outside edge to a backward point for four. Finishes the 11th, 63 for five. Spin once more. Chance of a run out, yep. I think that's another wicket. The umpire may just look for some support from the third umpire. My Emirates looking Colonel quite Hart confident. Yep, the nod of the Reynolds head from Pollard Reynolds. says so. Batter is short, wickets are broken. I have a decision for the big screen. Easy work for Leslie Reefer Jr. Another one down for Golf Giants. A soft dismissal, you would say. Overton needlessly run out with just five. Jim Dawson. Will it be out? Yep. Yeah. Didn't have the power. Pace off the ball. And it's another one. Back to back wickets now for my Emirates. Stings. Never allow them to settle at any stage. Required run rate was way over, over the top, and uh, they had to go for it. They're just looking from my Emirates. 
Sounded good, sounded very good. And a brilliant result for the Giants. Half a dozen. It's in the arc. And Jordan decided, yeah, I'll have a bit of that. Wonderful strike. The tender for the DP World biggest six of the match. Off the bat of uh, Chris Jordan. And efficient. Ah! That's straight. That's very straight. Martin Sagas agrees with me. Dawson doesn't agree with you. Going upstairs. Picking in line. Impact in line. Wickets umpire's call. Ready to go back. Stay with your original out decision on screen. You understand why the decision initially was out. And the technology confirming same. That's clipped away. Brilliantly for six. He's a strong man, Chris Jordan. That's another DP World Biggest Six. 55 to be exact. It didn't put any effort in that. It was just a wrist work and a gentle clip. Jordan wants more, but he hasn't got hold of this one. Trent Bolt just holds on to that one. Jordan frustrated at himself because he knows he's played very, very well and maybe could have taken it a little bit deeper. Good delivery, flighted, and there was the wrong end. And look at that. He was trying to go towards Madonna, I reckon, and in the end. He's trying his best to try and clear the boundary, but instead, Obi Mohamed was seeing and takes the catch. And Salam Khail, after putting one down off his own bowling, still will pick up another to finish it off for the My Emirates. And we have our first finalists in DP World ILT 20 Season 2. Congratulations to my Emirates. They won that game fair and square by a big margin, by 45 runs.